Shalom, shalom, good morning, morning. Hope everybody, hope everybody can see me. Hope everybody tuning in. Uh, is the video quality good? Everything good? I just want to make sure uh, the video is good uh, and everything like that. Everybody good? Everybody good? Is the video quality good? Can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me? Uh, is everything good? Everything's good. Just want to make sure. Give me some thumbs up. Shalom to you as well. Uh, hopefully everything is good. Uh, is everything good? Give me some thumbs up. All right, let me try to get my brother, uh, Eric Riddick, on. And uh, we go from there. Yes, everything good. All right, all right, all right. All right, grace, peace, and many blessings to everyone. Hope everyone's doing good. What's going on, Aza? What's going on, brother Shalom? I'm adding my brother Eric Riddick. I just tried to shoot you a, uh, a invite uh, to come on, so shoot you another one. Everybody's doing so much, man. How you doing, man? What's up, bro? Shalom, uh, man, shalom. Shalom, shalom. So, uh, just want to, just want to, uh, man, it's been a, uh, make sure you and I, I think kind of froze there. Maybe you're trying to get set up, get in a good spot. All right. Um, hold on here. I'll make sure you, um, Make sure your um your phone is uh on silent so that the notifications don't go off. Yeah, my um, fault. We definitely want to bring it out, bring this out in part two. Uh, what we're doing. It was an interesting night last night. And so, um, you know, I just think that uh sometimes um, you know, I, I don't even want to go into too much of the details about last night. I I uh, thought on it, prayed on it. And um, because I was, I expected it, but sometimes you don't expect it from people who you think that supposed to know better. But one thing about this walk, man, um, people can go in and out of, they can go in, they they can go in and out the flesh and and in and out the spirit if they not, um, they don't have a resting place in the Most High like that. And so we've seen that happen even with Peter uh, and some of the other disciples. Um, you know, don't go, don't go to the city, you know, and, and he had to uh, let Hasatan know um, that, you know, you don't, you're not even Peter who's speaking right now um, saying this. So at the end of the day, man, I had to really think about it um, because I, I, I know sometimes uh, Hasatan can pull you out of, try to pull you into his area um, to try to bring some form of issue. And my thing is, man, um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna give even any type of room to it. The post is up. People, a lot of people saw it. Some people didn't comment. Some people inbox. Um, and so I'm just gonna leave it at that, man. I'm not gonna even engage in it. But uh, I will say this: um, that the first lesson that we did, um, I we got me and you kind of talked about it. You know that um, the that. that you know, we 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 might. Uh, you you even say, man, I might have to turn my fringes in uh, after this lesson. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, man, absolutely. Because it's, it's it's some stuff that's gonna come across that's gonna be a shock to some people. So we're gonna put yeah. everything to the dividing line. Because last time we gave a, I know I gave the dictionary definition of what worship was, and uh, and it's still schisms based off of. Uh, I've seen people thinking it's different definitions of worship saying because all things that they were saying, what they didn't, what they failed to realize is those are acts of worship. Yeah. There's a difference between worship and then there's acts of worship, bowing down, praying, uh, exalting. Those are acts of worship. So if you say that like the, the big pushback is I'm not telling you, to go to an assembly on Sunday. That's not what the mission is. The fine point that's being brought out here is that if you pray, if you exhort, if you meditate on anything of the scripture of the Most High on a Sunday, you are worshiping. 
Yep. And it has yep. nothing to do with the assembly because now what now what we now have to turn around and do is now not only did we define worshiping, now we have to define whom and what you are worshiping. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we just, so we just you know, uh, I just want to make that in a distinction because I'm not, because what it was is I just want brothers to be aware when you just toss out statements, blanket statements, which we accuse other brethren of doing to us. Absolutely. You got to be careful of what you're saying. You have to have to un have an understanding of what points and what matters of things that you're bringing out in the open. And you better be clear on what you're saying and who you call and what. And we can go from Absolutely. there, big guy. And see, and see, the thing is, is man, is this. It's a, and, 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 you know, I always talk about the practical and the spiritual side of things. Right. When you have character, character is practical and can be spiritual. Right. When you come out of the out of your spirit, man, and you get in your flesh, now that's the practical side of your flesh, which causes you to throw subliminal shots, which causes you to, to not like or love your brother for no reason. Right. Your, when you're in your practical carnal state, your vision is skewed and it's blocking you from your spirit man being able to process what's being said visually right. And, right. and and through your, your, your spiritual ears. Right. And so I've seen subliminals. I see it all the time. My thing is this. If you don't call my name, if you don't come on my post, I don't have, I don't, I, it's child's play to me. Right. But when you start caught, when you start coming on the post and accusing and saying this type of stuff, when I wasn't even talking to you, then that's the issue with me. That's my issue. And as a leader, and, it's, and especially, and, and oftentimes it's dealing with people who aren't even in leadership, who right. are babes. They don't have no understanding of any type of any type of structure of leadership at, at all. And right. so when I examine things, I got to look at it from the perspective of, is this person a leader? Do they have any type of leadership qualities? Or are right. they a babe just talking out the side of their neck? Right. When I recognize they a babe talking out the side of their neck, then I have to process it differently as a leader. Right. And I say, you know what? I'm not going to even entertain that. But I'm not going to give life to that. Because that's a personal issue that them and the mo they, them, they have to deal with, with the most high. Me, right. when it becomes a leadership issue, and if I'm offended, it's a difference. And you saying, man, this is a bunch of, man, and you being offended. Right. Now, if I'm offended, then that's a different story. Then we got to come. Because once I understand that you obeyed, it, your, your position and, how you, and things you say, don't offend me because I know that what you're saying, you're a child spiritually. Right. right. So therefore, I'm not going to give any life to you because children are always looking for attention. Right. And when they don't get attention, they act out. Right. And so therefore, as an adult spiritually and as a leader, I respond differently. And all of us as leadership respond differently when it comes down to dealing with that. So we were accused of, um, or let me say this, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to even deal with that no more let's as elder dimitri say let's say what we not saying right so you understand what we saying absolutely what I can we hear not saying right now. Is, is to deny the shabbat absolutely. that's not what we're not saying that and we said that about two times in the th two or three times so that's we that's not what we're saying that's not, not what we're saying, saying that. That Two or three, four, five, six times. Not only that, folks know. Folks know that we have Sabbath service. That's right. That ain't nothing. That, that, that is not, that's not something that's that's not known. Absolutely. Two is what we are saying is if you only worship in the most high on Saturday, you are in error. That's right. That's what we're saying. That's right. We but saying that means you're not praying. You're not Absolutely. praying. 
You're not, you're not exalting them. You're not reading your word. So if you are only contained on that one day, then you are in error. I don't care who it is. You can call your more, your bishop, your apostle. If you only sank one day to use the acts of worship to the most high, then you are in error. You are in straight error. You, that's what we're saying. You. And that's when we right. brought the scripture out, if I we if if here's the thing, boom has boom has Sabbath service. Facts. But if boom decides to the next day have it on the first day, we are not in error. Because biblically, we did we are doing what we're supposed to do. Absolutely. We acknowledge the set aside day, but we Absolutely. also acknowledge every day. That's right. Back. So it's no issue. And we're gonna get into we're gonna get into some of this in a minute, because we're gonna we're gonna see here that you're not the only one, Israel. Who's having a Sabbath service? Absolutely not. We we finna bring this out because now here's the here's the thing. We, if you say that you we must worship the Most High Spirit and in truth, okay. If you're gonna worship Him, one in spirit, that means you need to get your get your get your head out your behind, thinking you so you you're righteous to the point to where you're not you don't have any error about you. That's the first thing we need to get out of. We need to get this arrogance out of the way. Right. And the only reason why you know who you are is because of the Most High. It ain't Absolutely. nothing that you did. Absolutely. So once we get that understood, we're going to go into some things and find out to whom do you worship? Facts. So I, what I want to do, go ahead, man. I prayed last time on the opening. I want you to go ahead and, um, and open up in prayer and then... Um, we're gonna we're gonna get into this. We're gonna dig into this. If you if you seen part one, part two is about it, we about to take it a whole nother level. We about to go to Nello. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Let us pray. Thank you, Father, for uh, this moment in time that you've given us, Father. Yes. We ask that we be used to render your word, that you be glorified, and that your people be edified. Father, we just pray that we speak not of our own selves but we speak under the authority of the Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit, that, that minds might be changed, hearts be, be renewed. And Father, we just pray that you be praised and worshiped at an all-time high after these things are brought out. Father, yes. we come against anything that exalts itself against you, and we, and we declare it now that you, you most high, are our Heavenly Father. In the yes. name of Hamashiach, Jesus the Christ, we pray these and many other blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. So what I want to do is I want to get into this because um, I was looking over some information with dealing with other, other, other religious practices. And I want to look at just to see, to get a glimpse of how dedicated they are to the whom and to whom they serve, and how dedicated we are to whom we serve. So what I want to do is I want to bring out here. I want to look at Buddhism. Okay, I want to bring out Buddhism. It says here is a study that Buddhists up to a hundred hours in two weeks. They average ten hours daily in prayer. Hmm. <laughs> Let's mm. we we're we gonna deal with this thing. Mm. We're gonna deal with that, this this prayer, this worship, and all this is since brothers be talking, everybody talking this stuff. You serving the most high, and, and he he's who you Israel. Well, let's see. Let's see how dedicated you are. Or are you dedicated to the thought of being an Israelite? Mm. Are you dedicated to the thought, or is it really in you? Because if it's in you, then you're gonna give the most high everything every day, all that you have all day. Absolutely. Okay. So let's bring it out. They pray up, they pray an average of 10 hours daily, huh? 10 hours. Wow. wow. They put in. Wow. Let me ask Israel. Are you putting in 10 hours of work? Mm. 
You say nobody don't deal, the most I don't deal with nobody but you. So if he don't deal with nobody but you, then why aren't you giving him back what he gives you? Mm. Is the question. Next, Islam. Now I work with a brother that's a part of it, that's part of Islam. And I talked to the brother yesterday because I knew we was going to come on here and deal with this, deal with this live. All right. Mm -hmm. Now every day, nonstop, bro. Now I'm off on the Shabbat. He works on this on, on Friday and Saturday. I'm off on Friday and Saturday and some Sundays. But he he works. So I asked the brother yesterday. I said, "Man, look." I say, "Bro, do you pray every day? What about on Saturday? Because I'm not here." He said, "Brother, I pray every day." Every day. He said, man, the mosque is open every day. I say, even on Saturday, because you know, Saturday, the Hebrews is, is a day of rest. He said, yes, I, under, yeah, I understand that. He said, but guess what? We have service on Saturday as well, because every day is to be given to God. Now, we Hold know up. that they... Hold up. Did you, say, did you say that they have service on the Shabbat as well? They got service on the Shabbat as well. So on Saturday, on Saturday, even the Muslims pray to Allah on Saturday. Now you know they're part of the Abrahamic Abrahamic faith. They believe in the Torah. Mm. They follow the Torah. Mm -hmm. So sa even on Saturday, they got service. Mm. He say every day. Interesting. That's why he pray the way he does. I don't care what's going on at the job. Five it don't matter. Times, right? Five times a day. That's what I was going to get into it right here. Five times a day. The brother it brother say, I don't care if the president or the CEO coming down and we got a meeting at work. I'm going to pray. If the, if the meeting time is around my prayer time, I'm stopping. I'm walk, getting up out of the meeting and I'm going to pray. He got his wow. he got his he got his little cup his little uh uh, uh um he got he now he use a uh, cause he say the floor too hard he use a um a yoga pad he use a yoga pad now cause he say the floor too hard he got a yoga one of them yoga pad that he bring to work every day that I know I'm at work five times a day I don't care what's going on bro not only that but what this is what he does. Because I, I watch sometimes he comes in the bathroom right before he prays, and I'm in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Before he, pre he prepares himself for prayer. Mm -hmm. I listen to this. I, he just ain't just going to, going, going to Allah any kind of way. He's wow. not just going to, he, he used the term God is neutral because he's, he said, I know, you know, most people don't call him Allah, but Muslims or whatever. But he said, he says, man, he said, it's a certain way you go to God. Right. How, have yeah, we not sure. been saying this? I mean, when you look in the scripture, you don't see people just going to the most high any kind of way. There's a level of reverence when you go to the most high. You're going to the most high without even referencing who he is, and you're going to the most high to my kill these enemies. And you ain't even acknowledge who he is. Let's look at what it says. It says right here. When I'm in the bathroom, I, I, before he pray every time, uh, uh, he pray five times a day. Every time he go to prayer, he go in the bathroom, he get the water in his hand, he washes his face, he washes his head, he washes his hands, his arms with regular water. This, this been, sounds like this sounds like acts of worship to me. It's acts of worship. He takes the water. Listen to this. I, he takes the water, get a little bit in his hand, put it up to his nose, suck it up and blow it out. He even clean his nose out before he pray. He takes the water, put it in his mouth, squash it around and spit it out his mouth. Then he takes his shoes off in the bathroom and gets water out of the sink and washes, wipes his feet off. Then after he do that, he goes and when he goes to pray, because I watch him because his locker not too far from mine, he rolls out his yoga pad. And before he pray, he take his shoes off and he get on a posture. And when he stand in his posture, 
before he even pray, he's, he's reverencing Allah. He reverencing him. Then he gets down on his knees and he bows before him. I'm watching the brother. I'm, I'm sitting there like, I'm sitting there looking at this and I'm like, wait a minute. What? The, come on. Are you serious? And so huh. the brother do, goes through a full preparation mode. He does not come to the most high any kind of way. You finna say something up? No, nah, I was just, I was, you know, because the way he's doing it, that's the way that we're supposed to enter the most high. We're supposed to come with him with humility, praise. We should be in preparation anytime we do speak to him. Because we have to we have to acknowledge him for who he is as the creator. Right. We are the creation. So I respect that. I respect that. Now look go at ahead, this. I. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Finish up. No, you go ahead, I. you go ahead. Okay. Now we're gonna look at Hinduism. Hinduism. There are strict rituals. Okay, strict rituals are being performed in the Hindu temple. Not only that, but they are in worship three times a day. Three times a day. We see the Muslim five times a day. They go to Allah, go to God, washing their hands, all this type of stuff. The Buddhists, they up there praying 10 hours Day and up the average of 10 hours daily. Mm. The Hindus, they putting in three times a day. And you talking about the Shabbat. One day. And you don't even want to be there two hours. You don't want to be there two hours and you talking about one time, one day. Like just, like just the most high only works on one day. He only can hear you on one day. Like this stuff got to stop, man. So now let's get down to this. The lit they have because because of the, the because there's so many biblical denominations, right? That subscribe to the Bible. They basically took and compound and, and uh, compounded biblical believers, right? Biblical believers, the Buddhists. Up to 10 hours daily in prayer. Yep. Islam, five times a day in prayer, right. washing their face, washing their hands, going to going to their God. All right. No, not any kind of way, but reverencing him in who he is before they even pray. They make sure that they go before him a certain kind of way. Hinduism, they are praying three times a day. Now let's get down here. Is this this is a, a compounding of Bible believers? Let's look at this. The average Bible believer. Spend less than 10 minutes per day in prayer. Huh. Wait a minute, hold on. Not 10 hours, 10 minutes. So if that's the case, if the average Bible believer spends only 10, 10 an average of 10 minutes in prayer, are, are you serious? Huh. And brother saying, oh, well, you know, oh, you worship God, you, you giving the most high honor on Sunday and all this kind of, you sun worship and all this kind of stuff. But if, if we look at these numbers at 10 minutes per day, that means you ain't even worshiping the most high the way he's supposed to be worshiped even on the Shabbat day. Facts. Because Facts. all you're doing is go just to hear somebody teach and give you some information. You ain't praying. And if that's the case, if you're not praying on the Shabbat, then you definitely ain't praying during the week. So that's why you get mad. Because right. you're mad at the fact that you're not living up to what you say you are. Right. Don't get mad at me because every day, whether it's Sabbath or whether it's Sunday, whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, don't matter. I'm going to honor and worship the Most High every single day as long as breath is in my body. If you don't like it, then that's your business. <clears throat> Nobody tying your hand and telling you to pray. But guess what? I tell you what, because the Most High God is a respecter of faithfulness. He respects that. Just when you get in that bind and when you find yourself in trouble, just know you gave him less than 10 minutes on the Shabbat. 
and you ain't talked to him all week. So don't expect him to show up on time for you. Mm. Don't expect you to be the main priority over somebody else who's showing him the dedication that he deserves and the honor that he deserves every single day. Facts. Just because guess what? The most high does come walking. And storms do come. Absolutely. So just know when the storm comes and you want to point fingers at everybody else about what they doing and all this kind of stuff, but you ain't even putting in the work yourself. No, nah, bro, bro, don't even worry about it. He ain't hollering at you. He'll get to you just the same way you treat him. Facts. Go ahead, brother. I was out. As you were saying that, I noticed, um, I thought about when you were talking about how people prepare for worship. And uh, and I thought about when you was especially stuck to me about the brother of Islam. And uh, and I remember when Moses, when the most, when he, when, when uh, y'all came to him in the burning bush and Moses had to remove his sandals. Because he said, because mm -hmm. oh, yeah. that where you stand now is on holy ground. Yes. And then, I, then it took me to ask while you was talking. And it said, Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. Acts 12 and 5. Peter, yes. therefore, was kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing yes. of the assembly unto the most high for him. I, I got I, that scripture. I got that scripture wrote down when we was going in the scripture. So the most high, we on the same page. Go ahead, go ahead though. And then uh I then I go down and it says, and I go down to eight. And the eight, and an angel came unto him, gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. Yes. And and I, I'm saying this to say, because I don't know where you was going with it, but it was allowing me to see that when we when we when we approach these things of the most high, these are symbolisms of get out of yourself. Yes. And let him do what needs to be done. We don't have to attack brothers based on because what it is is the, the because I'm glad we're bringing this out because these attacks on saying because a brother worships, even though you know he keeps the Shabbat, but because he worships any other day outside of that, especially on the first day, you're saying he's a worshiper of Baal, Nimrod, whomever you say. But uh, looking at what you were saying, we I pulled up and the most most of what they're saying is based off of rituals of the Catholic Church because we already know these other religions. You called it out. Uh oh. Uh oh. But I'm looking at the Catholic Church, and there's a and people can go behind me and check, and it says MassTimes.org. This will give you a listing of every service that's Let's get formed into in the Catholic Church. Let's get into it. Mass times first day Sunday. And brother, they got multiple services on Sunday. And then guess what? They also worship on Monday, two services. On Tuesday, one service. Wednesday, two services. Thursday, one service. Friday, two services. And I see Saturday, two services. So Catholic, the Catholic got a, a Shabbat service too? They have a Shabbat service, huh? So you tell, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. So you telling me Israel isn't the only one having Shabbat services? No, sir. And so matter of fact, you? matter of fact, I'm gonna go a little deeper, bro. Not only do they have a Saturday mass, but then they also have on these same days of the week, they have confession services. Come on, come on. Bring it up. Monday, out. two times. Tuesday, two times. Wednesday, four times. Thursday, two times. Friday, two times. Saturday, 
two times mm. the Shabbat. Mm. Now, while we sitting up here saying who you worshiping Nimrod on the Sunday, well, the same people worshiping on Saturday. <laughs> and now my question begins. Bring it out, huh? Come on, who are we because see, I'm I'm not saying the Catholics are right. I I know that they're not right. But <laughs> just like you were saying with other portions, there are other people worshiping on the Shabbat. <laughs> Right along at the same time as your assembly. On Come the on. Shabbat. And they having more services than your assembly on I, the Shabbat. More services on their Shabbat than on your Shabbat. Than on your Shabbat. Uh, <laughs> and I'm looking and I'm and I'm just and I ain't even took it to the whole scale, but this is just within my region, just within the city of Greensboro itself. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about several Catholic church, and all of them got same schedule. Same schedule. Same schedule. Uh. So now, so, now, now, go ahead. Uh, no, go no, ahead, go, uh. go ahead, go ahead, finish up, finish up. So now that we understand this, so now what separates you? Mm. There has to be a separation of mm. why and who you worship. Mm-hmm. See, we didn't bring this out to tell you how to conduct, but we were only trying to bring out the fact that we just wanted to define worship mm -hmm. and what it meant. But now, since it's been such an uproar, now we're going to bring everything out on the table. So That's right. now that you know, you got these same other religions worshiping on your Shabbat. Now, that goes back to what Christ was trying to tell you Pharisees. <laughs> because that's who you are. Come on. Shabbat was made for man, not man for the Shabbat. That's right. So now we got to understand now. So then it becomes a distinction. Now we got to say, whom do you serve? Whom mm -hmm. do you worship? Whom yes. do you give your honor and glory and praise to? That's because right. See, when, you, when you walk and talk in these manners, you're not talking of kingdom manner. You are mm -hmm. of yourself. You are of your carnal self. That's you right. You are trying to make yourself establish higher than any other. And you yes. need to be cut down. That's right. Because if you're sitting up here saying, you, I'm Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Israel. Brother, understand this. Sister, understand this. Israel was called to be the priest. To That's the right. Bring it out. And if you're going to be a priest to the nations, your aura of trying to walk in flesh and pride and knowledge, it's got to be cut off. Mm -hmm. Because just like you was talking about, you know, that's that's why I was, when you were talking about how, I got to go back to where you were saying how that brother prepared himself for worship. Yeah. Did not the father prepare the Levites as that's we right. read for worship? You had to have on a certain attire. You had to mm -hmm. build a certain type of fire. You couldn't, mm -hmm. bro. If you if you went beyond the veil and there was something in your heart that wasn't right, you died. You died. Absolutely. So we 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 got to get off the notion of trying to go about carrying the father's business of our own self gratification. The father don't share his glory with no one. That's right. And even if these, and I'm saying it here, even if these other religions, these other people want to choose to, yet they still will not share the glory of the most high whom worship him in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to address now. Are you worshiping in spirit and in truth? Or are you worshiping of the, your own authority? Because ain't nobody being won by that. Because all you're doing is having people choosing sides. Yeah. That's where we get this debating type stuff. That's right. But we, we say, as the word say, we, we as, as he says, let y'all be truth. Let God be truth and every man be a liar. That's right.
And that's what we're here to portray. That's what we're here to, that's those who worship in spirit and in truth. That's what we come to bring. That's the message that we give today. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Op. Absolutely. And I just see my um, my, my, my brother, um, Elder Wilton, uh, is on here, who's a part of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. They got Shabbat service. Mm. They keep Torah. Mm. They follow the dietary law. Mm. They don't talk about they Israel and they don't get into that side of the heritage part. So what, you going to keep them out the kingdom? Nope. All because they don't want to teach and identify or even present that you Israel? Absolutely. But yet they're keeping Torah. They're doing all these things, dietary law, probably more so than some of our brothers that claim to be Israelites. Facts. They believe in marriage, spiritually and legally, also more than some of our brothers who believe that they're Israel. So when we right. start talking about this worship thing, and you start tripping about just narrowing the most high down to one single day, you got a problem. Now I got to look at you at what type of spirit you carry. What type of spirit you, because to me, only Hasatan will try to box the father in. The same way he tried to overthrow the father. I look around like, where are my worshipers at? Where are my worshipers at? I think my brother got off here. He'll be back on here in a minute. Where are my worshipers at? Where are the worshipers? You just going to give hard time worship? Or you going to give me what's due to me? We're going to get into these scriptures, too. Yeah. We're going to get into these scriptures again. Again. In part yeah. one, we showed you from the time of the Levites. We went through Leviticus. We went through Chronicles. And we went all the way to the New Testament to Hamashiach. That's showing right. you that, that it was, this was an everyday thing. But see... You so upset and mad, you don't even see that the reason why you're in the situation you're in because of your own doing. Right. You want to blame everybody else. The same way you blame everybody else for your condition, you want to blame everybody else because you can't because you because you're not worshiping. No, don't blame everybody else because you ain't worshiping. You blame you blame yourself. And this is the problem. And we got people in the community feeding this madness, and it has to stop. This madness got to stop because it's robbing the people of true worship. Absolutely. You're robbing the people of honoring the creator. Facts. The one who Absolutely. protects Facts. your behind and keep your behind every day and night. Even when you being wicked, doing all kind of foolishness, laying up and ain't all this kind of stuff. You ain't spiritually married, nor are you practically married. You smoking weed and doing all this other stuff, all this kind of stuff going on, all this craziness. Right. But yet you want to point fingers at somebody else. Oh, look at this. Look at the Christian pastor. Oh, oh these spiritual whorehouses and all this old kind of stuff. Facts. You ain't worshiping in a building, nor are you worshiping in your home. You don't got, right. you have no, you have no, no room to talk about nobody. Right. Because that that's because they lack or want a responsibility of being accountable for what they do. Because if you're so self-centered, how can iron sharpen iron? Because then nobody can't tell you nothing. Absolutely. Nobody can tell you, nobody can give you correction on what you're doing and what you're saying is wrong because you feel of so much self-righteousness. Then you don't want to be at no assembly because that's too churchy for you. Hmm. Let I mean I, I gotta find it. Uh, we'll do it when we get a chance. But let's let's go back to to those that saying praise and worship is too churchy. Yeah, yeah. We, we'll that's touch on it. Go ahead. And somebody and those of us that are sitting up here, not only claiming Israel, but you're saying you're the tribe of Judah. Come on. Well, there was a war won, not by our warriors, not by the soldiers, but it Come was on. one. Because the father sent the children of Judah Come to on. do praise. Yes. 
and the praise was so strong yes. that the enemies turned on each other and That's killed right. each other. Come on, come on. So if you if you if you can't get out of yourself, and if you don't like praise and worship, I ask you, when you read all these books and these encounters of people that saw the, the most high sitting on the throne and the elders putting down their crowns and the angels crying, holy, holy, holy. And you yes. sit here with your sanctified self talking about you can't do that because that's too churchy. Well, Come on, bring it out. I will say about Christian and brothers, they got this part locked down because they, they got it locked down. Freedom and liberty. And while you up here handcuffing our people, talking about Come how on. we should be conducting worship and when yeah. we're supposed to worship. You don't have that authority, brother, sister. And I'm going to say this too, I, when I was a, when I professed to be Christian, I didn't worship Nimrod. That's right. I never worshiped Baal. That's right. I already knew who it was. The only, the, the difference that changed for me was I embraced the names such as Yah and Hamashiach based off of heritage. That's right. But the authority never changed. Never changed. Go ahead. I, I just wanted to bring that out there, man. And got the nerve to sit up here and talk about every time talk about come Yasha Hala and Judah rise up. You can't rise up if you ain't worshiping. You do you know up. do you know the power? That the power that can destroy the enemy is in your praise. You try, you trying to, you trying to, you asking the Most High to do something that you ain't even, that you haven't even uh, um, um, gave him reverence on. Anytime Israel was going to battle, Judah was worshiping. But now we got Judah today, listening to all type of Negroes. Talk about, oh, that's too Christian. Oh, uh, that's let me emotionalism. Uh, let me add this in. Uh, let's talk about when Paul and Silas was in the jail. Yeah, come on. And the praise it. and worship was so strong when the angel was there that the doors of the jail opened. Open. And nobody wanted to leave. Nobody they to stay in the prison. And it, and it infected so much that even the prison guard himself gave his life to Hamashiach. Gave off of worship. Off of worship. Y'all want people to wake up? You want people to come into their heritage? It ain't you teaching no, teaching no history? You ain't worshiping. That's the key. The Most High ain't moving off of what you talking. He ain't moving off of no information. He moving off of worship. That's what y'all failing to realize. That's why when people do wake up or do uh, or even embrace it, they leave. They go right back or they go to something even worse because y'all not worshiping. That's the problem. You want to teach? You want to have all type of conferences and all type of uh, uh, gatherings and feast days? You ain't worshiping? And I ain't talking about worship at the feast day. No, you should have been worshiping before the feast came. Right, because you're supposed to come to the feast day with expect expecting, with expectancy. You supposed even in approaching the Father in prayer, you supposed to approach with expecting that he be that not only hear your prayer, but that he gives you that instructions of how to walk out what his plan or his commandments that he tells us to walk in every day. Every day. Every day. And and that's where the Ruach is. The Ruach, that's where the Ruach is in the praise. It says here in 2 Corinthians 3 and 17. Now, the Lord is the spirit. And I'm going to say now, Yah is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Most High is, there is liberty. Yeah. So you yeah. got a lot of people that ain't free trying to tell people, to stay out of freedom. Absolutely. You you know, you know, let me tell you something. Do you know, and I, I want I hope y'all are listening because we got Christians and Hebrews on here. Do you know? Do you know how Hamashiach 
for many of y'all who know is Jesus. Do you know how his name spread it? It was because the people who he brought deliverance to started worshiping. That's how his name spread it. That's how they heard about it. Because when the man at the pool of Bethesda, when he got healed, he ran off worshiping. Every time somebody got healed, they ran off worshiping, saying that he did. When the man had blind eyes, That's eyes right. open. That's right. Run off worshiping. What, what about, wait a minute, hold on. What about the leper? What mm. about the leper who got healed when all the other lepers ran off? He came right back to Hamashiach. And worship. And worship. His fame and his name grew because of worship. Not because of no information. Not because That's of right. no historical background. Not because of any of that. It was because the spirit was on the people by their worship. And his name grew. When he fed 5,000. When he would turn around, uh, uh, doggone, uh, when he asking all kind of, the woman with the issue of blood, all these, it was because of worship. But y'all think y'all got it. Mm. I hear people running around talking about, we got to wake our people up. You ain't waking nobody up. Let's get that understood, first and foremost. This You're is not the, the one high. who's waking folks up. That's right. This is, the most high. Mind. this is the most high's awakening. Take, take, take that label off you and say, this is the most high's awakening. The, the awakening don't even belong to Israel. No. That's just like where I hear brothers discussing about the, you know, that's why I need to be, about uh, Moses' law and the new covenant. First of all, Moses never had a law. Never. Moses didn't have a law because he, he was given the law by the most high. Everything belongs to the most high. Absolutely. Go ahead, right. Let's get it to let's get it to some scriptures. Yeah, let's do let's it. Right. We're gonna come out the gate and we're gonna deal with what's going on in eternity for y'all who is who stuck in time. I don't know about y'all, but my mindset ain't stuck in time. That's right. My mindset is set on eternity. Right. And if I can't worship down here, then how in the world you think I'm going to worship in the kingdom? We, we kingdom. worship it every day in the kingdom. That's right. Every day, nonstop. That's right. So if you can't do it here, and you think you're only going to do it one day down here, you might as well get, you might as well don't even worry about it. You might as well go ahead and make your bed in hell. Because everything was a preparation, all right? Everything that the Most High did in the book was a preparation for the things which were to come. Absolutely. When we, when we were coming out of Egypt, now, now I'm going to go ahead and address this too while we at this. Come on, go ahead. Abrupt, uh, I, some people are saying worship is bowing down. If that was the only, if that's the only act of worship, then the Most High didn't have, he didn't, he didn't tell Moses to go tell his people tell Pharaoh to let his people go so that they can worship to just <laughs> bow down? Because if that were the case, they could have bowed down right there in Egypt. Bring it down, huh? Bring it out. No, because he, he wanted them to, to go through the process like Moses. Moses, before he could even go back to Egypt, he had to be changed and renewed, and his mindset and his heart process had to be changed so that everything that he did was under the authority of the Most High and not of his Absolutely. own authority. And he and it wanted to be known that if if they so just stayed in Egypt and bowed down and worshiped there, then the mindset of the children would have changed to where they thought they did it. They freed themselves from Pharaoh. They got themselves out of bondage. But no, he said, I got to bring you out so that you can understand that. I share my, like he told me, I share my glory with no one. That's right. I share my glory with no one. So the fact that you say that worship is but one act, worship is a lifestyle. Lifestyle. Even Shiat worship. Because even when he fed that multitude, he gave thanks and hey, thanks. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? That's worship. When he prayed in the garden, that was worship. Yes. So if he worshiped, 
and his acts of worship, then who are you? Come on. We're going to take off these handcuffs, these binders, these people that are not letting our people free. We're going to take all these handcuffs off today. today. That's right. Take it off. Let's go. We're going to go to Revelation chapter number four, big eye. Revelation four. Let's see what's going on in eternity. Let's see what they're doing in eternity. Are they just worshiping on one day? Mm. Let's get this. We're going to go Revelation 4. And we're going to start at verse number 8. Okay. Read verse 8 through 11. Huh? Let's see what they're doing in eternity. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him. And they were full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night, saying, Stop right Holy there. Stop right there. We're going to slow walk this thing. Says cast this, on the top sideways. Now, now this, this is before the throne of heaven. This is where Come this on is now, going. break it down. And the, and the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Yah, Elohim Almighty, or Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. So wait a minute. They only worship on the Shabbat? Nah. Nah. When, when do they get rest? When do they get rest, huh? Uh, they rest not. They don't wait. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on Day hold on, hold on. or night. Day or night. Hold on. Day, Day or wait a minute. Night. What, what calendar they on? They don't have a calendar. <laughs> Let's go ahead and blow it all up today. They don't have a calendar. See, that's what it is. That's the problem. The calendars, these time stamps are for you. <laughs> And not, they, those restraints don't happen in heaven. They don't happen with the Most High. They don't know what no time is to him. That was for you. Hey, I just gotta laugh. I gotta laugh, huh? <laughs> I, I don't mean I ain't, I ain't trying to laugh at people. But come on, out. I I'd say they don't have a calendar. <laughs> they don't have a calendar, huh? They don't hey. have no calendar. All right, wait a minute. If they sat there and said, oh, it's not the Shabbat, we can't cry holy, holy, holy. <laughs> Bruh, you'll be just like, because what? Hasatan was not kicked, Hasatan was kicked out for the thought. He had a thought that entered his mind and immediately he fell like a star from heaven. <laughs> You up here, you up here talking about time and calendars here. That's a human thing. Yes. That ain't got nothing to do with the most high. The most high created time so to, to set aside to help you out. That's right. To bring you to an understanding. See, what we felt realize, he's not adjusting for us. Yes. We have to adjust for him. That's right. So it, when you have that understanding. Go ahead. Right. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep going because but, that, that that can go into a whole other situation. All right. So, so are you telling me? We know that the Most High rested. He rest on what we on on what's deemed as the Shabbat. Right. We know that he was doing ministry on the first day of the week based on our calendar or based on Facts. time. Facts. So. They are in eternity where there is no time. Now, if we are to worship him in spirit, did not Hamashiach say that, that Yah is a spirit? Yah is a spirit. And so if he's a spirit him. and we must worship him in spirit and in truth, then I, I, how are we hindering him only just to worship in him on the Shabbat. Uh, that's because our mindsets have not cleared 
from what we think it ought to be. See, that's the problem. We up here telling people what we think it ought to be. Even in the interpret, because we forget, even with the scriptures, the Bible, we forget that this is a supernatural. It's a living word. This ain't no book of regular knowledge that you get from the library or that you got to study to take an exam with. This is a life-breathing, expired word of the Most High. Even though it was written by men, it was inspired and given to them by the Spirit of the Most High. That's right. So, so if, we, if we're going to go into this thing, d diving into our own personal knowledge and understanding, we are far off. We and are this... far off. So we got we got we got we got to go back to getting an understanding because I'm gonna ask you this, like you asked me, where was the calendar at for Adam when he was first created? <laughs> because see, really, the calendar stuff didn't set in until sin got in the picture, right? So that so he had to read. So even if ain't that why he destroyed? The earth, the first time, he had to mm -hmm. redo things again. That's right. Because everything he had, he said, he had to ponder and say, okay, I got these jokers, and I got to set this thing aside right where they can halfway get in. Mm-hmm. Because it, the, the sin was so rapid that he had to destroy the earth one time before. Mm-hmm. Man, we, the thing is, when we can get out of the pinpointing the box that we put the most high in like even with this name stuff like the most high don't understand every language because he gave language until we can get rid of that stuff thinking that we think as he thinks and we can judge in his in his role man we in trouble huh? that's why the world <laughs> is like it is right now this is why when we look at the scriptures and we see here and we see said that, that it says that it says that um, verse number nine, and when the beasts and when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who lived forever. And ever. okay. The four and twenty elders. Now we talk about the beast. This is what I was. This is what I'm trying to say in the beginning when we started looking at Genesis. The beasts were created before Adam. And so, if you know the beasts were created for Adam, they were worshiping the Most High, thanking Him. Now, guess what? Now, in eternity, you got beasts doing it again. And now, and then Adam comes along. And Adam understand, he gives him um, uh, um, uh, understanding for worship. Now, all of a sudden, now you got the elders, man, uh, elders falling down before him that sat on the throne. You got, that's why the scriptures say that everything that have breath, worship praise. the most high, praise, praise him. Yep. I don't care if you beast or human. Everything is going to worship him. Even the beast. This is why I say the birds don't care. The birds don't care about uh, uh, storing up. That's right. They know who their provider is. That's right. Uh. And so when we look at this right here, he says, he says they worship him. That live forever. He said they don't. He says right here says that they they don't. Uh, they fall down. Verse number ten before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crown before the throne saying thou art worthy not just worthy on the Shabbat because forever has no time it has no days we have to worship him every single day that goes back to the point of what were you created to do Absolutely. You were created to do nothing but worship. You weren't created to be, your rulership was based off of the guidelines that you were worshiping him that created you, that gave you this rulership, that gave you your time. Israel, you were, you were created to give him glory and honor. 
all mankind, your creation, humankind. You were created to give worship to the Most High, not him to give you worship. Because Absolutely. sometimes I think the way that we act, we got the roles reversed. Mm. Because like I said with Elder, and, I, and I'm going to address this. I'm going to address this clearly. I said this one time with a lie with Elder, and I'm going to reiterate this thing. I want, I want Judah, Reuben, all those that are Judah to understand this in, in your high mindset. Jacob didn't want your mama. Oh man. Uh oh. Come on, bring it up. Walk him slow, brother. Walk him slow. If it were up to him, he would only have had Benjamin and Joseph. Come on. Because he loved Rachel. That's right. He didn't love Layla. That's right. So why are you sitting up here climbing and, and throwing and bashing? That's where humility really needs to set in. That's right. Because that's why we got to be humble. You, a lot of people, are, as we talk, your glory, and I'm, I'm saying this to my Hebrew brothers, your, your, your crown to you is in your heritage. That's right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's your reward, you ain't it? Because you Israel, that's it. Mm. That's the gavel being slammed. But I've read several verses says that judgment starts in the house. In the Israel. house. It starts in the house. So you got to get beyond the mindset because your crown is only when the father says, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Come and enter in thy rest, the Father's mm -hmm. rest. That's where your reward is. Because if I got to take off of every fringe, if I have to renounce the name of being Hebrew for the gaining of the kingdom, then Come that on. is what it is going to be. That's what it's going to be. Because I'm only, be. I'm only Israel because the Father saw it fit and had mercy. Because of a prayer, and I'm saying this to Judah. I'm, I'm saying it directly to Judah. Because he heard a petition and a request from Layla, there was a special blessing pronounced over Judah. Mm -hmm. Because she, she was happy and, and, and said, uh, and because she was having boys, because if you look at culture, having, having boys was like a, a, a great thing. And she was like, and because of that, I'm going to name this child Judah because he's going to give you praise. So Judah, if you out here, because your name is Judah, which means praise, which means worship, and you ain't out here preaching that to people, then I got to ask you, are you Israel? <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing, like we talked about, Yes, we understand, for those who are just not joining, we're not saying toss out the Shabbat. No. That's but what we are saying, what we are saying is if that's your only day that you acknowledge the Most High, you ain't Israel. You're not Israel. Period. Not. And you can't claim Judah because no. you don't worship. You don't and worship. If, you're on, if you're not worshiping on the Shabbat, you ain't Ju you're not Judah either. You're not Judah. You're not Judah. So let's get something understood clear. So when brothers get to popping off and get to saying all this type of stuff, I'm going to ask you, if you claim that you are an Israelite and you parade yourself around like you a teacher trying to correct people, I'm going to ask you, show me in Torah where it says that I can't worship on no other day but Sabbath. Yeah, show me in Torah. You gotta show me up. Show me in the Torah where it said that. And I'm gonna show you 20, 30 scriptures where it said that we worship every day. Every day. And how Mashiach I mean, said it. Look, as we just read here in the eighth verse, it says, and the four beasts.
had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, holy, hope. That's the concept. They didn't even rest. They all, they, it was continual worship before the Father. So if I, if I choose, if I'm going to walk in a lot, because ain't that what we say? Let it be, ain't, let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's right. So if it's being done in heaven, then it should be done here on earth. And that means I'm not only worshiping on the Shabbat, I'm worshiping on the first day, the second day. The third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, and the sixth, because it's without ceasing. That's right, sis. Without ceasing. That's right. And if I and if I error in not doing so, I'm going to go through the Lamb and petition for forgiveness, so that I may do this again. Absolutely. Go ahead, up. Big shout out to um our brother um. Um, Mikael, who just uh, joining, uh, big shout out to him. Uh, big Shalom, Mark. Shalom, Mark. He's an awesome, awesome teacher. I check our brother out. Thank you with uh, IOG Israel down in Chicago. Um, but the brother definitely solid. I shared one of his posts um, about the whole, uh, you know, people be banging on on him for talking for, for using Jesus, and uh, he said, "Show me America in the <laughs> in the in Deuteronomy 28." <laughs> That was a good one, so I had to share that. But uh, yeah, brother, brother, definitely, man. I want to try to get him down to James one and one too. So I'm gonna be hollering at him. Um, let's go to Psalms 150. Now you know if we going in the Psalms, you know what time it is, right? Oh, hey man, that that's that ain't nothing but praise and worship. That, that's all David did. That's all we David going in did. Psalms. Mm. How you claim to be Israel and you think you only just gonna worship on the Shabbat? Hey, Sister mm. Monica, what's going on? On the Shabbat. Have you not read Psalms? Mm. Have you not read so do you know what Psalms is about from, from, from the from the beginning to the end? Come on now. Come on. Come on, man. Mm. Come on, man. This don't make no sense, man. Mm. It don't make no sense. <laughs> let's hey uh, let's go to uh let's go to Psalms 150 and we gonna we gonna we're gonna read uh, verses four through six. Matter of fact, uh, nah. Let's read read the whole read Psalm one fifty. It ain't but okay. six verses. Okay. There we go. Praise ye the Most High. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Elohim. Praise God in His sanctuary. Wait a minute. His sanctuary. Oh. <laughs> His Come on, sanctuary. Bob, bring it out. So there was a sanctuary during this time. But I thought we can't be conformed by the four corners. That's what we told. The sanctuary? Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise mm. him in his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise Stop him right there. His... Stop mm. right there. Stop it. Stop. We got to walk this thing now. Walk, walk it slow for them. Because they need to get all this. Israel I lost their mind. Israel has I, become a, an, an asylum. Because this is basically saying you pose a praise without ceasing. <laughs> because there's an acknowledgement. Because in the second verse alone, there's an acknowledgement according to his excellent greatness. Excellence. I don't know about you. I woke up today. And I woke up, for, I don't woke up for the last 40 years. Just me waking up displays his greatness and his mercy and his grace on my life. Just me alone. I ain't even got to have the stuff. Hallelujah. Just me waking up shows his greatness. Hallelujah. Come on, man. Look at what it says. Huh? He said, verse number two, praise him for, for his mighty acts. I don't know about y'all, but the last time I checked, the most high I've done some great things in my life. Mighty acts. He's used some great people. He done used some Gentiles. He done used some That's white right. folks. He done That's used some right. Asian folks, some That's African right. folks, some That's German right. folks, all kind of folks in my life. I don't know what y'all, I don't know, I don't know where y'all get this from. Facts. 
He done done some great acts in my life. If he can use a donkey. Come on, man. Come on. Israel in asylum, man. They done went crazy, man. They went crazy. They done went crazy, man. Because, uh, hey, man, you, you, you said a statement on one of your lives a while back. We're going to start addressing people. Do we call them Yah Jr.? <laughs> because I don't see, I, I mean, because they are put, they are putting themselves on this pedestal. When you say I don't gotta worship, you you not gonna worship. So you not gonna pray on because it's Sunday. You not gonna pray. You not gonna give an exhortation. You not gonna think the thoughts of the Most High. You not gonna meditate on His Word day and night. How can it? If that be the case, how can it be written in your heart? Mm. How can it be written in your heart? Even Joshua said, let it so that your word, he said he was going to write his word in his heart. He said that to Joshua. That's what he said. And then they're talking about it again with Paul, that the circumcision heart, that the word be read, let it, my meditation, so that thy word be written in my, here. But you, but you so all, you so all in self-gratification. Oh, I'm this, I'm that. And it ain't just Israel. It ain't just Israel. Mm -mm. It, we, that's not confounded that, but this is the understanding. We have to take off. We, we got to do like Moses do. We need to start taking off our sandals. That's right. We need to start tearing off our garments. That's right. Because we have to come to a point where we're acknowledging who the most high is. Mm -hmm. And where he stands within us. That's right. Is he the king that sits on the throne? Is Hamashiach not your salvation? And see, that's another conversation we're going to have later on. You say we're going to do a live about, because I'm telling you, a lot of the problem is a lot of Israel and a lot of people ain't got no salvation. And that's why you can't understand what we're reading and talking about when it comes to worship. Because there has been no salvation of your heart. Right. Absolutely. Let's keep reading. Right? Let's go, go to verse number three in Psalm 150. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Praise him with what? With what? The, the sound of the trumpet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you tell wait a minute. So you telling me Israel had instruments? Israel had instruments, huh? No, no, man. No, man. That's too that's too that's too Christian, though. That's too Christian, uh, uh, That's too Christian. Israel had instruments, uh. That's too Christian. That's too Christian, matter, uh. matter of fact, it was another one. It said, praise him with the salty and heart. Come on, wait, 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 wait. They got trumpets. They got saltery. They got harps. Bruh, the string instruments, uh. No, no, man. Israel ain't had no instruments, man. That's churchy, man. Come on. That's too Christian, huh? See, y'all, see, I told y'all hanging around them Christians too much, huh? You're hanging around uh, them Christians too much, huh? Wait, hold up. But this but this is the Psalm of David. <laughs> because it, 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 because we're we gonna speak this to some of our non so-called non-Messianic brothers that want David to be the savior. This is David. Mikael crazy. <laughs> and then it says, we're going to go to four. Praise him with the timbre and dance. Wait a minute. Hold on, 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 hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Israel was, wait a minute, hold on. Israel was having church? Israel was. <laughs> no, they weren't doing that. No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, no, 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 hold on. Uh, uh, that was doing slavery. You learned that from the white man. Now, that Israel, Israel was not playing no instruments. They was not hand clapping and foot stomping. They weren't doing that. Uh, stop it, uh. You, you adding stuff, uh. You add, well, I talk, I, I'm going to talk to my Moray about this tonight, uh. Because y'all, y'all, y'all leading our people down the wrong road, man. Y'all leading our people down the wrong road. Uh, uh, hey, this this, <laughs> this sounds like a Pentecostal service right here. Praise them with the string instruments and organs. There were organs huh? back then. 
Wait a minute. Uh, no, nah, uh, I think uh, I think had oil. Come on, uh, wait a minute. No, uh, not the. No, uh, that's not not the organ too. <laughs> mm. Not the organ too. Come on, man. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, let's let's go ahead. I'm I'm uh, cause this gets better and better. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. That's the drums. <laughs> Come, on, Come on, man. man. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals, the drums. <laughs> and it says, Let everything that hath breath. Praise the Most High. Praise the Lord. Praise the Come Elohim. On, man. Praise ye the Most High. Look, look at, look at, look at. Let me tell you something. See, this is why I be trying to tell cats, man. They say the internet undefeated. The Most High is undefeated. He's undefeated. And I'm gonna tell y'all why. I keep trying to tell y'all, brothers and sisters. Stop following these folks that don't have the spirit, man. Now, Josh did an awesome lesson last night. All right? Absolutely. What's going on? What's going on, Big Out Stephen Graham? What's going on, man? Uh, Stephen on, Graham, that's like, I'm, I'm going to have him on here. He, he, I, you're right. Absolutely. David had it, too, um, in Psalms 87. So right. here's the thing, man. This is the thing. I keep trying to tell y'all, man, the most high is undefeated. Okay? He's undefeated. Every listen, once the most the most high is trying to get is gathering his people to worship him spirit and in truth. That's right. Not That's information. Right. That's right. The information is good. There's nothing wrong with that. That's but right. don't get it twisted. That's right. And we gotta get us, we gotta understand something. It's a lot of talk out here. And Josh did an awesome lesson last night about see the problem in Israel is that. When you do when you do this type of stuff we reading right here, this is stuff going on in the church. That's right. This is stuff. See, one thing. See, that this is why we have to understand that we only know in part. That's right. And when you when you fail to open yourself up to allow the Most High to do His thing, you're going to miss it, and He's going to have to take you out. He's going to have to That's beat right. you down. That's because right. right now, this is in the scriptures. If you say you right. Israel. And you don't know right. this, but yet you point at the Christian path. All oh, the Christian church looking, all oh, they in that, they in that foot clap. I see y'all, y'all be having your little memes and all this little stuff. Y'all see folk running in the church, y'all see folk clapping and foot stumping, and y'all want to crack jokes and all this kind of stuff. Talking about it's emotionalism. Josh talked about that last night too. We've been talking about this stuff y'all doing. That's right. Y'all call right here in the scriptures in Psalm 150, y'all call this emotionalism, Israel. That's what y'all call emotionalism. Uh, based off of everything we see in here, they are doing what the scriptures said to do. They doing it. Matter of fact, when they when air, when all this is going on, I could turn on a Kojic, I could turn on a Pentecostal, and I could see this happening. And, yeah. and when he said, let everything to have breath. So while the tambourine and the clap are going, and you hear that, oh, yeah. Oh, let everything, everything that has, there are people that are sitting in a wheelchair with cerebral palsy that wish if they could just clap their hands. Yes. Yes. But you and your self-righteous self, you can't even give him a praise of honor and glory for whom justice do. Honor and glory is due unto him. Man, come on, Art. Come on, man. Look what it says right here, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Read, read verse number four again. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. And, and dance. Praise, and praise him. And praise him with the string instruments and organ. That's right, Elder Mark James. That's right, Elder Mark James. Break it out, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, out. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high-sounding cymbals. So that mm. means it's loud and high-sounding ones. 
and let everything that have breath praise the most high. Praise ye the most high. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling y'all. We, we are, listen, this is why I said, y'all become, y'all have gotten and put yourself in more bondage than you was when you was the, in the place that you left. You in more bondage now. And you was not supposed to be. Now that you say that you come into the truth, you really supposed to show how much you worship the most high now. You say, you know what? I'm going to show them because they only got a portion of it. Now I'm going to show my brothers and my sisters who only got a portion. I'm going to show them how to really do it. That's what Israel was supposed to do. It was supposed That's to right. show the world how to honor, worship, and be obedient to the Most High. Oh, Lord. But y'all done turned into some militias. Y'all done turned into some some some, some uh turned uh, turn the world into an insane asylum, insane asylum. Y'all around arguing over doctrines of all kind of stuff that ain't gonna matter when come, when Christ come back. And you're not even worshiping. This is why the righteous shall scarcely make it. This is why the, the judgment gonna start in the house of, uh, house first. This is why Israel gonna get dealt with first. Because of these very acts. And some folks, y'all sitting up, the most high want to heal your body. The most high want to do all kinds of things in your life. Bless you with finances, a high paying job, all this stuff that your heart desire and things that haven't even entered into your heart. But he ain't going to do it if you ain't worshiping and giving him no glory. Hallelujah. Point blank, period. Hallelujah. And this is the problem. This is what we're trying to get out. We're trying to, we're not trying to take you back into, into bondage. We're trying to free your mind, empower your spirit. This is the problem. That's it. And That's folks it. are in bondage, man. That's right, Art. Uh. Come on, man. Let, let's let's get some more. Let's get some more, man. Psalm What's 71. <laughs> <laughs> you stay in this song. You stay in this song. Guys running around here talking crazy, clicked up, and all this kind of stuff. You gonna just like you clicked up, you are gonna get burnt up together, and you are gonna have one day of worship because right. once you get in hell, is one day, one time, and you are gonna be set on fire. Mm. You gonna you gonna praise him then. You gonna pray. You gonna want. You gonna praise him then. You gonna hey, praise him then. What 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 it was a song that I used to hear in the Christian church said, Don't wait till the battle's over to shout now. Don't wait till That's the battle's right. over to start shouting. Because now that we understand that the beings in heaven <laughs> they pray without rest continually day and night. Day and night. Bruh, what you supposed to do here? We say, and don't night. we don't we say the Lord's prayer? Ain't we quoting that? Yep. Let's go ahead and read verse Psalm seventy one. Start at verse number six. By thee have I been holding up from the womb. Thou art that. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of thee. Continually, ah. Uh, Continually. Continually. Keep reading. Can, can I read? Can, can I? Can I read? Can I read this verse six? Because yeah. this is bringing this out too. Can I? Can I do that? I, I don't want to. It says, "In the O Yah, do I put my trust? Let me never be put to confusion." Mm. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thine ear unto me and save me. Mm. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto mm. I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to say, save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. That's right. Deliver me. Oh, mm. my Yah, out of the hand of the wicked, 
out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For thou art my hope, O Yah, Elohim. Thou art, my, thou art my trust from my youth. By thee have I been holding up from the womb. Yes. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. Yes. My praise shall be continually of thee. That's right. Go ahead, keep reading. Verse number eight. I, I let my mouth be no, sorry, filled. Sorry, sorry. Go, go verse number seven. Yeah. I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. Let mm -hmm. my mouth be filled with the, my, thy praise and with thy honor all the day. All, all the day. The Continually. Day. All the day. Why? Because he understands where his help come from. That's right. He understands who his creator is. That's right. He ain't following no man or idolizing no man. That's right. He ain't following none of that. He's, he's acknowledging, Father, this is who you is. Let me go back to my birth. That's it. I wouldn't even be here if it hadn't been for you saying, let there be David or Dawid. Mm. If it wasn't for you, no matter how my parents got together, if mm. you didn't send my spirit and say, let there be Dawid or David, I couldn't exist. And then as I formed in my mother's womb, you even protected me as I slid out of it. Come on, man. Man, man for folks, folks, miss me with this, man. Miss well, me with this you know, craziness. You know what confounded me, Art? The reason why I started at one? Because before he could even get to that point, he had revelation before he even got to his birth. Yeah. He understood that his he he understood that through this revelation is why he was protected in his birth. That's because right. he said there was a commandment at three. I, I he said, Be thou my strong habitation whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to mm -hmm. save me. That's right. Uh he already had an understanding that his birth, the reason why he saved him in his birth for what this time set aside that he knew he was going to, he had a commandment to save me even from birth. Even from birth. Even from birth. And that's why he can praise him continually. Continually. They don't All forget. All day. They don't forget, huh? They don't forget. They think they woke up themselves. They think they doing it themselves. They they are they love the the notion and the idea of being an Israelite, but it ain't in their heart. It ain't in their heart. They love that. Even the Pharisees love the idea, mm. and that's not gonna get it. The idea of being Israel not gonna get it. No. That ain't getting you in. Nah. That's not getting you in the kingdom. The father don't need people with ideas. That's right. He don't need people with ideas. That's right. Because every good idea ain't a yah idea. That's right. He need people who are obedient. That's what he's looking for. That's what he's looking for. Is that not what caused death was disobedience? Absolutely. Sin is dis that you breaking the law. That's disobedience. That's iniquity. Iniquity. That's where all this stuff comes from. Yep. And and understanding who put out the commandment. Who laid out the law? And see that's probably the that's probably the problem with some people because we thinking it's Moses' law. It won't Moses' law. The Most High gave Moses instructions that were filled with laws. That's right. Those were his commandments. That's right. And that's why we teach about they, the, 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 the laws of the Most High are not done away with. Right. 
That's right. Now let, let, let's let's we gonna we gonna get some more. We we finna get some more of this. They finna get okay. some more of this. We 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 not gonna leave no stone unturned. That's right. No stones. All right. Let's go to Daniel. Let's go to Daniel. Chapter number four. And we're gonna deal with this. We done heard from David. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Daniel. Let's see what's mm -hmm. going on at Daniel. Daniel chapter number four. Start at verse number 36. Okay. And it reads, At the same time, my reason returned unto me. And for the glory of my kingdom, mine honor and brightness returned unto me. And my counselors and my Lord sought unto me. And I was established in my kingdom. And the excellent majesty was added unto me. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, Stop right there, uh, Now who? I, Nebuchadnezzar. Now who? I, Nebuchadnezzar. David. No. Nebuchadnezzar. Elijah. No, Nebuchadnezzar. Je Jeremiah. No, Nebuchadnezzar. Was Nebuchadnezzar Israelite? No, he was Babylonian. Oh, okay. that's, 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 what I, that's all I wanted to know. Okay, go, go ahead, proceed and read, uh. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and exalt and honor the king of heaven. Who? who? Oh, the king of heaven. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Any, any king? No, no, no. The king of heaven. He, he, he's, he's praising and worshiping the king of heaven. No, Yeah, the king of heaven. And he's not an Israelite? No, he's not an Israelite. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I want. Go, go keep reading. All whose works are truth and his ways, judgment, and those that walk in pride, he is able to abase. So, wait a minute. We got a Gentile mm. who is saying that the reason for his success and the reason his kingdom is what it is Ain't because of Baal. Ain't because of Astarte. Ain't because of none of these other, other, other gods. That's right. But you got a Gentile and Nebuchadnezzar saying, your God, I'm going to give honor due to him because, because why? He says right here, he says, I'm going to praise and extol and honor the king of heaven, all whose works are truth and his ways judgment. And those that walk in pride. Wait a minute. So you're telling me Nebuchadnezzar got some understanding of the power of worship? Uh, uh, and he got an understanding that the most high will take you down for being prideful. Uh, man, cause come I on. Want, yeah, because yeah, I want the people to understand what obeys me. The definition is behave in a way in a way so as to belittle or degrade someone. Come on, man. That, that means if you're walking in pride, even Nebuchadnezzar said the most high will behave in a way to belittle. And degrade you. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you you gonna worship the Most High, man? You, you gonna worship the Most High? Uh, you gonna worship? You gonna worship it? Uh, he said he'll confound the wise. Uh, he'll confound the wise. Uh. <sighs> Man, boy, I tell you, boy, Israel, 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 boy, I tell you, mm. boy, I tell you, boy, let's see here, we gonna go, let's see what Paul talking about, let's see what Paul talking about, mm. no, not Paul, not Shaul, let's see what Paul talking about, 
Not Shaul. Uh, let's not Shaul. Let's see what Shaul talking about. Let's see what Shaul talking about. Let's go to Colossians chapter number three. Mm. Let's see what Shaul talking about in his letter to the Colossians. Let's see what he got to say. Mm. Colossians chapter number three, start at verse number 15. Okay. And let the peace of Yah or Elohim or God rule in your hearts to which also ye are called in one body and be ye thankful. Stop that's right there. Some, that's going to rub some people right there. Huh? It's going to rub some people out there, man. So Shaul saying here's the bottom line. The reason why you don't worship is because it ain't in your heart. Your heart is too wicked to worship. I don't care how good you look on the outside, how many garments, fringes, clothes, all that you, if you aren't worshiping the most high every day, you're wicked. And your heart is displaying What's on the outside? It's proven on the outside. That's the problem. That's why you want to tie it down to just say, oh, well, we don't worship on the Shabbat. We don't worship the first day of the week. We don't worship, we don't worship on the Shabbat. You know why? Because you don't want to take on the responsibility in what you created to do. You were created for worship. Mm. You don't want to take on that responsibility. That's right. That's the problem. That's right. Huh? But guess what? You want to worship YouTube. That's right. You want to worship Facebook Live. That's right. You want to worship your favorite Moray. That's right. You want to worship your favorite camp, click, church, whatever it is. You want to, you want to worship them because that's in your heart to show them that's honor. That's right. You want to you worship, worship. But every that's time right. I look around, you send me a video about somebody. Don't send me no videos to watch nobody else. That's right. Tell me how, what type of worship you got. That's right. Let me see your life displayed, not somebody else's life. Let That's me right. see your life and do your life line up with the scriptures. That's right. Because you can hide behind other people, but you can hide behind other people by putting other people in other people's face. That's right. That's what That's you're right. doing. That's right. When you posting somebody you else, you are hiding who you truly are behind somebody else. That's why you keep pushing other folks. No, That's I see you. We That's see right. you. That's right. The most I see all things. And he's pulling the back. He will lift the sheet up off your behind. Oh, man. Go ahead, Ark. Go ahead. You ain't because worshiping. Come on. I only worship on this day. Man, get out of here. Man. Hey, uh, can, 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 let me just keep going because. Go ahead. Keep going. I, I don't know where. I don't know where you was going, but we're going to keep going with this. It Go says, ahead. let the word of Christ or Hamashiach dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishment, admonishing one another in what? Psalms. Psalms. And hymns. Hymns. And spiritual songs. Yes. Singing with grace in your hearts to the most high. Is that not what David was talking about in Psalm 150? Uh, line upon line, precept upon precept. Come on now. Come on. And, who, and whosoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Hamashiach, or Lord Jesus, giving thanks to Elohim. And the Father by Him. But but look, look, look I, I want I want to go back to verse sixteen, brother. I want to go back to verse sixteen. Uh, I, I can read it again. Yeah, yeah read verse sixteen again. Let the word of Christ or Hamashiach dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching, and it stop right, you stop right there. Stop right there. 
if I'm teaching you everything else outside, because there's another thing we're going to deal with too. It's a whole lot of brothers teaching everything but salvation. Everything but salvation. That's another thing we're going to deal with. Knowledge. How can you say that you are a follower of Hamashiach That's if right. you know him as Jesus Christ or, or, or Yeshua and you are not teaching salvation? That's right. You ain't teaching repentance right. and you ain't teaching worship? Then we got to find out who are you speaking on behalf of? What authority do you come on? What authority do you come in? Because at the end of the day, we're looking right here. It says, let the word of Christ dwell in. That's salvation. Uh, that's salvation. Let the word of Christ dwell in you. Not only that, it says, richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in song. We're supposed to be teaching brothers and sisters to worship. That's it. But That's you it. Folk, folk coming and banging on us by come on, we teach it. Man, come on, man, miss me with all that. That's that is Hasatan in you. And you because need that, to be rebuked. Because that goes right uh that goes right back to where Christ said, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all this righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. This right here, if you keep reading, because from that point, it starts telling you how you're supposed to treat your wife, how you're supposed to treat your husband, how you're supposed to treat your children. That's right. Because the Most High has an order of things. And if he's not at the head and the top of things, through Hamashiach, then brother, you off course. Of course. So you can't teach nobody because you ain't delivered. Mm -hmm. You can't even post the scripture because I need to know the spirit because even Hasatan know the scripture. That's right. Because just like we were talking about earlier, even, even, even the Catholics have a church on Saturday, the Sabbath. That's right. Even the Hindu pray on the Sabbath. That's right. But now we're going to divide now. But who's at the head of why you pray and why that's you right. worship? Yep. Because that's why we got to bring, this is why we were bringing out what worship really is. That's right. Because even now, what we're doing now, this is an act of worship. Yes. Because we're reinstalling and telling you why you worship and who should be at the head of, why, of whom you worship and why you should walk circumstantially in this act of worship. That's right. Because even as he said here, teaching and admonishing one another, that means how you talk to each other, brother. That's right. Because Christ said, so that they will know that I am with them by the love that they have for one another. That's right. That's why your family members don't want to hear the truth from you because you have no true spirit in you. That's right. That's what it they is. They don't even want you at the get together because they don't like you. That's right. That's right. So that's that's why they don't want to hear the truth from you. Because you know why? Because the truth ain't in you. It ain't in you. It's so not you, in you. So if you speak something that ain't in you, what does it do? It causes damage. It causes mm -hmm. confusion. It destroys. It kills things. There's no life in what... But the Father said... but. Christ said, I come. And you say you follow Christ? Christ said, I come so that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying you're following Hamashiach, then what you speak should be life to the people around you. They That's ought to right. want to be around you. They, wanna, they ought to be able to say that if something go down because you walk in truth, they can give up the phone and say, hey, hey cuz or bruh or fam, I'm going through something, and I need you to pray with me. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's where the fruit starts happening. That's right. What people can say, man, I remember E. E was off the chain. That's right. But now he up here talking on, talking on faith. That brother don't even like to take pictures. Mm-hmm. Because, see, what happens is once you get 
Hamashiach and the testimony and the salvation, that that means the spirit, because he said he sends you the comforter who mm -hmm. will lead you into all truth. That's right. And if you get that understanding, then you'll worship beyond your Sabbath. Because yeah. see, now I'm calling it your Sabbath. That's right. So according to the most high, his Sabbath. Because let's let's really get into this. I, is, Sabbath, is Shabbat only classified on Saturday? Because according to the feast days, those that don't fall on the calendar Saturday are it out. called high Shabbats. That's what they call. That's what they call. So we're going to dig all into everything. We're going to run all through your house with this because the truth is <laughs> going to come out. The truth going to come out today. Go did, ahead. And, uh. and did not brothers, did not, what, what, hold on. Since you, since you went there uh, and talked about the high Sabbaths, let's talk about Sukkot or Tabernacles. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about the eight day feast. That's right. Uh. Wait a minute. Do you not participate or worship or do anything on Sunday, which is a part of the eight-day feast? That's the eighth day. Come on, bro. Come that's on. That's the eighth day. That's Let's where, be with that. That's where circumcisions were performed with the ones that spoke Paleo-Hebrew, the ones oh, that the wrote in the original Hebrew language, the ones that knew who the Most High was because his presence was so intense with them them jokers said, hey, Moses, you talk to him. Because even the very sound of him speaking to him brought conviction to them. That's right. Go ahead. Uh, I don't see nobody boycotting Sunday on, on Sunday doing Sukkot. Nah. I don't see nobody boycotting Sunday doing Sukkot. Nope. I don't they see nobody that. boycotting for high, uh, for high Sabbaths against high Sabbaths. They, they still there, uh, they still there, uh. They still on, there, uh. <laughs> they still there, uh. Tell me, man. Tell me. Let's let's see. We are let's let's we're gonna finish up here. We're gonna pull out two more. Let's go to let's go to Acts. Let's let's go to Acts. Okay. Let's go to Acts the second chapter. Oh bro. There let's go, go to again. let's go ahead and close this thing. Let's let's put this in a body bag and go to Acts the second chapter. And let's again. kill all this. There you go again. Uh. Tired of this mess, man. Got most high people in bondage right here with this foolishness. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to nerd. They want to sit up and got the nerd to call somebody a false prophet and, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. We know who the false prophets are. And we know that they don't like to worship. I tell you that. Right, because the, the signs are going to follow them that believe. The, the people that believe not going to follow the signs. The signs are going to follow them. So absolutely, just like Paul said, we speaking to people that say they are in truth. And the way that you're acting and conducting yourself, like Paul said, you would think that you'd be ready for this meat. But based off of how you're acting, you need to go back to the breast milk. You need the yep. milk. We're gonna start at uh we're gonna start at verse number Acts 2. We're gonna start at Acts 2, verse number 42. And we're gonna read all the way to verse 47. All right. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul. And many wonders and signs were done by the apostle. Say, stop right there. Huh? Now, go ahead and get a people a, a overview, a little breakdown in this last particular verse we're going to bring out of what's going on here in the Acts, the second chapter. Is is this not where uh, Pentecost is being taken place? This, this is Pentecost. So we know the northern kingdom is there. We know That's the right. southern kingdom is there. That's right. And we know the apostles that walk with Hamashiach is there. That's right. That's so right. So they don't, and, and, go ahead. And, and a lot of these people, they didn't, they didn't speak the same language. That's right. So, so one may have said Jesus, another one might have said Hamashiach, another one might have said Yahshua, mm -hmm. or whatever language they knew. 
but they did not speak the same language. Not all of them. All right. Now let's go to verse number 44. And all that believed were together and had all things in common. They're on one page. Hold on one page. Ah, that means you ain't over here. We all have one thing in common. So that means there was a coming together of things, right? Yep. And so once things came together, there was a power that went. Let, let's, I'm going to go keep reading. <laughs> and sold their possessions and goods and, part, and parted them to all men as every man had need. Mm. And they and they continuing daily with Hold on, one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They, they do daily. what? Huh? Daily, continuing Wait, daily. Conti so they continuing daily. Who who who's all cont continuing daily? These are the apostles. Wait a minute, the, the apostles? And, and, you telling and, me and people, you tell, you're talking about Peter and all these other brothers? And not only that, we talking about the northern kingdom too, and the southern kingdom. Wait a minute, the and northern came, kingdom. And, and those that came from kingdoms that were far off from captivity. Yes, sir. That's what we're talking about. And you're talking about, talking about, wait a minute. Clearly, the apostles know that they shouldn't be conducting nothing on Sunday. Nah. Nah. They, they should not, not. I mean, according to what they say, Moses' law. According to Moses' law. So you're law. telling me they doing stuff. You're telling me. Are you telling me that these brothers was doing stuff even on on quote unquote sun worship? Uh, I mean, the apostle wasn't sun worshiping. Now, come on now. Uh, uh, they, sun they, won't sun, they won't sun worshiping, but according to their doctrine, they were. They, according to their doctrine, <laughs> according to the to, to the Pharisees' doctrine, according to the Pharisees' doctrine, uh, they were sun worshiping. You can't even get no food according to the Pharisees on the Shabbat. <laughs> can't nobody get healed until after the Shabbat according to the Pharisees. Right? Come on, let's keep reading. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Daily? I thought, wait a minute, I, I thought the temple closed Sunday. Huh? No, nah, I said daily, huh? Uh, the, 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 no, no, come on. You, you, what kind of, you reading a different translation? Uh, nah, uh, this, nah, you're not this, reading the uh, Hebrew translation. Uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this goes back even unto Moses in them time with Aaron and them. This, they, they're keeping the same thing. Because the one thing about the Most High, he's consistent in everything that he does. He's consistent in everything he does. Like I say, you have to adjust to him. He's trying uh, to help you <laughs> adjust to him. Somebody was there to lock the doors after Shabbat. No, uh, daily, daily, uh, daily. Now, uh, you are you sure you're reading this right? Uh, hold on, let me get another version. Uh. <laughs> this, this is this is the scriptures. I'm gonna read it from the scriptures. Come on, uh, I'm gonna read it from the scriptures. Uh. Uh, somebody had to lock the door uh, after uh, the Shabbat. Uh, somebody locked uh, the door. Nobody going to the temple on Sunday. Uh, you uh, need to stop you know, this. I'm I'm gonna read it from the scriptures. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna I'm gonna read 46 from the scriptures. Uh, Come on. Uh, it, it says, and day by day, continuing with one mind in the set apart place, breaking bread. From house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart. It said day by day. Uh, it didn't say Shabbat. It didn't say first day. It, didn't, it said day by day. That means it's continued. I don't care what version you pull up. That's what it's going to say. Uh. <laughs> but so, so what was they doing? Were they just eating on on, on on daily? What were they doing daily? Bruh, they said in verse 47. They, they said, praising Yah, praising huh? Elohim, praising God. No, nah, uh, they weren't praising on Sunday. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, nah. uh, see, praising, uh, see, 
See, we gonna have to turn in our Hebrew garments. You got your fringes out. You have to turn your fringes in uh, uh, after uh, this. You have to take. You have to turn in all your Hebrew garments because they saying when we telling folks that it's okay to worship on Sunday and Hebrews don't do that. We come on. I, 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 are, are you ready to turn all your stuff in? I, yeah, that's I, all I, I want to do. Uh, if that's what it counted to be, I'll turn it in. Uh, long as I, <laughs> long, long as I see this here, long as I see this New Jerusalem, shots out the Ram Road closing. Long as I see this here, uh, you can have my fringes. <laughs> you can have my fringes. It's, look what it says that they were daily. We don't man, how, from from part one of, of of worship to part two that we've done on worship. That's it. We don't brought out at least. 30, 40 scriptures showing right. you we are to worship the most high every day. Daily. That means worship is a lifestyle, people. A lifestyle. It's not an act. It's not oh, a particular. Man. Worship is a lifestyle. When you understand these things, and you only get this understanding through the Ruach. That's it. Through the truth. And it and and he will show you and teach you and humble you. And you get humble to the point where you will say every day is a spirit of thanksgiving. Every day. Every day. And I ain't talking about the holiday which they had. I'm talking about based off of scripture. David said every day is a spirit of thanksgiving. Based off of everything we read here, every day, even the even the beast in heaven, and the twenty four elders and the angels, they know that every day, every day, every is day. a spirit of thanksgiving. So you go ahead and box your own little container, because then I can ask. Then it's a valid question to ask you. Well, then whom are you worshiping? If you can That's only do your worship on one day. That's right. I want to know who you worship. That's right. Who you worship? Because, because it, it, this, this, this goes beyond whom you fellowship with, whom your assembly is with, because we ain't even on that. Because if you walking in the spirit, I don't care what assembly a brother is. If we all under one, because this is what they said, they were under one accord. One accord. So like we say under we say rebirth is boom and boom is rebirth. Two assemblies, but we walk under one accord. That's right. So they're trying to pit each other against each other based off of self-understanding and not the truth of the most high. We throw that out, bro. It ain't gonna work. I don't have to, I don't have to debate with people on that. So if so what if you take my friend? My DNA still says who I am. The Father Absolutely. knows who I am. Matter of fact, the fact that the Father knows who I am, it supersedes anything that you or anybody could ever say to me. That's right. That's what Moses, that's, that's what Moses got when he got the revelation in the burning bush. He knew that whom was sending him was beyond who he was going to sit to talk to. That's right. Joshua knew when they were going to the Jericho, that whatever wall that was up, they served the one that could tear it down. That's right. It was just a loud cry. Yep. When the children of Israel went to the valley to Je Jehoshaphat, yep. they, when he said, send out Judah to do the praise, because see, if you, if you read this story and understood, there were more than one army that was coming against Israel. That's right. And because of the praise of Judah, because Judah's praise was out of obedience, which is an act of worship. Yes. So he, and, and, and because it was in truth that they worship in total obedience, he rewarded them by the armies turned on themselves in confusion out of just the worship of the people. Just the worship. All these, all these people that we're reading, everything was done out of worship. Yep. Because like, like Samuel told Saul, he said obedience is better than sacrifice. Not only that, not only that, uh, let, me, let me say this, because what you just said just came to mind. 
How did the spirit come up off of Saul? Disobedience. No, I'm talking about how did the spirit, the spirit came off of Saul, the evil spirit that the father put on him came off of Saul is because of David was David, doing what? David was playing worship. Come on, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I ain't even talking about closing the Bible. I closed the Bible, man. David, David was playing worship. Everything that was done was work. When David bought the Ark of the Covenant back to Israel, come on. Because you know why? You know why he danced himself out the clothing? You know why? Because David knew that one day he was in the backside in a wilderness herding sheep. Yes. While the king was still sitting on the throne and the prophet of Israel came while he was tending sheep and anointed him king. Yes. Of Israel. And he knew that when they bought the Ark of the Covenant back, he knew that that part of his life after he had slayed a lion and killed the bear and killed the lion, after all these things had happened, then when he was bringing the Ark and see the Ark of the Covenant represented that was where the Most High's presence sat at. Yes. And he understood that at that point, that these things came so that at that appointed time, that that's why he was created. That's why he was anointed king. Because he was going to bring the kingdom of Israel back together under the authority of the Most High. Yes. So I would have danced naked too because I know he knew he wasn't deserving. He wasn't built... It was because of the Most High. So in that, he gave praise, honor, and glory. These are all acts of worship. I, every person in this scripture, I don't care, every person in this scripture, they gave honor, glory, and praise through the worship, the acts of worship to the Most High. There was no succeeding if you did not do so. And then even to read that a king of Babylon Mm. Even he understood based off of the acts of the, uh, uh, man, this is based off of the acts of the Hebrews that were before him. He looked at how they walked. They didn't have to tell them, you know, we Israel, we Israel, that's right. We are the children of the most high. We are the Hebrews. They didn't have to do that. It was no. not because of what they did in their like Daniel did in his prayer time. The Most High stepped in because he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him out. That's right. And when you get that understanding, you're going to say hallelujah. You're going to do like they did in Psalms. You're going to be praying. You're going to play that organ. You're going to stomp your feet. You're going to clap your hands. You're going to lay. You're going to prostrate before the Lord every day. Every day. Just for being included, ah. Huh? Just for being included, just for revelation, I give him honor, glory, and praise. Just for revelation. That's right. Because, like you know, and I know, I know I'm not deserving. That's right. I'm not worthy. It ain't because I'm Eric Riddick. It ain't because I'm no Hebrew. It ain't because of my dinner. It's because of He who called me out of my own darkness. That's right. Through the authority of his holy ruach, his holy spirit, that I'm able to stand and speak under his authority. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, my confinement, your confinement don't match mine because I'm don't. doing like David. So based off of the resume of those that say only on the Sabbath and those that say every day, the scriptures are telling you who the most high with. Huh? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Josh said, choose ye this day. Because like you were talking about earlier, there are other people that worship, but they're not worshiping the most high that do it every day. So there had to be a distinction of choose ye this day whom you going to worship. Whom do you give glory and honor to? Hmm. Why do you post? Do you post because you heard somebody that speaks eloquent? Do you put their messages up there? Does that signify who you are? Or do you use that as a method of, because see, that's the thing, man. We need to stop using 
people's teaching and people's things as a weapon amongst each other. That's right. Because first of all, that's that moray or that teacher's testimony. That ain't yeah. your testimony. That's right. So you don't use that as an act. Show me, brother, what we can reason or sister, what we can reason according to the scripture amongst me and you where you think I error. But don't try to broadcast me with somebody else to teach it. What you teach it. That's right. Absolutely. Go ahead, uh. Man, you 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 don't close it. I closed the book. I told you I'm closing the book. As soon as, as soon as David played that harp and that's and that wicked spirit came up off him, I closed the book. And, and look here. It's nothing that we ain't even got to go into nothing else. I, I got other scripture. We ain't even got to go into it. will be overkill. The most high always reigns supreme. He's undefeated. We ain't got to go through nothing else. Just know if someone is trying to hinder your worship, you better take heed. You better check. You better, you better. Listen, I'm, I keep telling brothers and sisters, you better pray for discernment. And know who you are amongst. Because uh, the wheat and the tails are growing together. That's it. That's it. They're growing together. That's and it. If anybody trying to stop you from getting close to the most high? And he's, we, we, we showed you from heaven to earth. We showed you from heaven to earth what they're doing when they come to worship. And if you can't get it, then I'm sorry. You might want to check to find out to see if you have the Holy Spirit. That's it. That's it, huh? That's it, huh? Because if, if they doing it every day, night and day, that means several times night and day saying holy, holy, holy. And you can't do a holy, but only on one day, brother, what's your reward and who you worship? I want to know who that most I is. I want to know who that is. Who is it? Whom do you worship? Mm. Not when do you worship, but who do you worship? That's right. Because we're going by the guidelines based off of scripture. And by scripture based, I observe the Shabbat. If I choose to worship on the first day, I'm not in error. If I choose to worship on the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth day, I'm not in error, huh? Because I'm doing what they do in heaven. Mm -hmm. I'm doing what they talked about here in the scriptures. This, these are the people that we, these are the people that are inspired. We reading off of their notes. These are the ones that we say, oh man, this is classified. This is inspired by the most high. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do, you do it your way. And we're going to do it his way. That's right. And at the end, we're going to find out who was right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And as a matter of fact, before the end in us finding out who's right, the Most High always gives his people a sign of who he with and who he ain't with. Absolutely. So the, so the Most High is the one in control. So before we find out who's right, we going to see who got fleas. That's right. Because only a dirty animal carry fleas. Hey, these signs and a shall flea follow. Will bear fruit. The, these signs shall follow them that believe it. Not you following the sign. Because see, a lot of our people, we following signs. The, the signs should be following you. Mm -hmm. Who's been changed by, by being in contact with you? Who's willing to go back and read these scriptures again based off of just interacting and talking to you? Because it said, like it said, up we said admonishing one another. See, because when Christ did things, he was drawing people. People were attentive to Christ. Yep. If people ain't attentive to you, then what spirit or authority do you walk under? Yep. Then we can talk about where your worship life is. But see, this all goes back to what you're talking about, Art, that we got to bring out is we got to bring out salvation. That's we got to bring that back to the table. We got to go back to where 
the basics are. Mm -hmm. Because that's why you don't understand. That's that's why you say things out of order because you don't have an understanding. Mm -hmm. And without the salvation of Hamashiach, then you don't have the spirit and then you don't have the truth. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, Absolutely. Brothers and sisters, we're going to get off here, man. Um, it was awesome, awesome. The, the Most High is, is, is again, undefeated. Um, his spirit is always going to be filled with us. And his concerns for his people is always going to be um, identified and going to be displayed. And so all we came to do, to, all we came to do with part two, just like we did in part one, was to un get an understanding that we're not, back, we're not saying throw away the Shabbat. But we're saying that's not the only day of worship. And so we want to make that clear so there's no confusion as to what we're saying. Right. So brothers and sisters, if you're in Jacksonville, Florida, this weekend we got an awesome, awesome, awesome service this weekend. The gospel in Africa uh, before European influence. We're going to be, we're going to be uh, teaching on that. Uh, Reverend Randy Sewell as well as Sister Monica. So those of y'all in Jacksonville or got family members that's in Jacksonville, Y'all definitely uh, come out. Uh, we can't wait for 2019. Uh, boom, uh, North Carolina is going to be kicking off. And so definitely appreciate my brother for tuning in, Deacon Eric Reddick. And uh, he's in North Carolina. And so it's going to be some awesome things, brothers and sisters. So we love all of y'all with the love of Amashia. And we just uh, ask you, man, search your hearts and uh, make sure um, that you worship in him in spirit. And we brought that out. So ain't nothing wrong. Uh, so change your your mindset to thinking that it's wicked to, 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 to dance, clap, stuff your feet, and praise and worship, lifting up with holding hands, holding hands and, 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 and crying out to the Father. Don't let nobody tell you that's emotionalism. No, we see that in the scriptures. Israel always cried out. They dance, they worship, and they play with instruments. So brothers and sisters, I pray that you cannot eat without eating from the word of Yah. A man should not live by bread alone. Every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yah. I pray that you cannot drink without drinking from the living waters that flows from our Mashiach. Let the light that is within you shine bright outside of you. And remember to love one another so that the world may know that we serve the true and living Yah. Until next time, brothers and sisters, we all love you with the love of our Mashiach. Uh, hey, hey, Auntie Evelyn, how you doing? I love you as well. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, all of y'all be blessed on this day, all right? Shalom. Love y'all. Shalom.